Hello again, 3ds Max enthusiasts. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through the steps for linking a Revit file into 3ds Max. So let's start by opening our trusty architectural sample file in Revit. And we're just going to save that out. Uh, save as project and just pop that somewhere that you're going to remember where it is. Uh, in this case I'll just put it in my documents, save. Okay let's open up a 3ds Max, file, import and link Revit. Just locate that RVT file and we're going to open that up. Something is happening! Okay so we need to install an additional component in order for this to work. So if you've got the extra six gig of disk space, go ahead. Okay, great, that's finished installing. And now let's give that another go. So file, import and link Revit. So if you didn't wanna install additional six gig of uh, software, you can always link FBX file. And I've shown you how to save out an FBX file from Revit in a previous video. So link Revit, find the file. So this pop-up, shows us the Revit views that have been saved in Revit and you just need to select the one that you want to see. So let's just go with the 3D view and over here is the preset. Um, so this is how 3ds Max is going to layer things. So by default, it just comes as combined with the Revit material, but we can drop down this menu. We can change that to category, family types, as one object, or do not combine the entities, in which case there would be like a bazillion different geometries and meshes just floating around. We don't want that. But we do want, let's go with the category. So for example, walls, roofs, they're all gonna be sort of grouped together. And attach. Okay, you can just cross that off and over here we've got all of our different layers. So the beauty of working with your Revit file linked to 3ds Max is if you make any changes to your Revit model, for instance, let's just pull this wall up give them some extended privacy on the rooftop and we're going to just save that and we're going to go ahead and update the file reference you can also update your workspace to design standard 
And then we've got the manage links button, which is easier to access. Otherwise you go to file, reference and manage links. So you can see there's a red flag next to our linked file, meaning that there's been changes made that haven't been updated yet in 3ds Max. So we're just going to go and reload. Give it a few minutes. So this just allows you to update your lighting, cameras, uh, from, from the Revit model, or if you've already made changes in 3ds Max, so you can just go ahead and untick those. And the same applies to the materials. So if you've assigned materials in 3ds Max, you may want to keep those materials. Or if you want to stick with your Revit ones, you just leave these ones unticked. So you can see that... The red flag's gone, the file has been updated, we can cross this off and you can see our beautiful privacy wall in 3ds Max. Uh, another tip when working across Revit and 3ds Max is that you've got all your Revit cameras set up that have come across. So if you want to look at those views, you just go click on your view cameras and more and you can scroll through these are all the ones that have come across so for instance we want to be in the exterior river view click ok uh, another thing to note when you're working with a linked file is you have limited modification options in 3ds max so I can move the wall around, but if I wanted to delete this wall, it's not going to allow me to do that. So once you are finished working in Revit and you want to work entirely in 3ds Max, you can bind your file. So we go back to manage links and click on bind, proceed. Can close that off. Now our file is bound. We'll select that wall again and we can remove it. Perfect. And there you have it. That is how to link a Revit model into 3ds Max. I hope you enjoyed my video and don't forget to like, subscribe and as always, follow your bliss.